I was there meditating this morning and you know there was something I wanted to share with you that I didn't share about the men's adoration as people will remember last year when I went to Medjugorje this is where I really felt the calling from Our Lady to to do the men's adoration um, but I felt very uh, reluctant to share this and even when I was trying to get direction with different priests you know <laughs> It's not like they say, yeah, Robert, you're right or something like that. You know, I suppose we always have to be cautious. We always have to be cautious and, you know, we can fall into different pitfalls. And um, so I, I kind of I kind of became more prudent in what I was sharing in my videos simply because I didn't want to create a false um, false message, really. I didn't, you know, is this really what heaven wants? And I wanted it. I wanted to discern it so much. You know, when we did walk the cross, I suppose heaven made it very, very precise and clear and spoke to Anto and spoke to myself, you know, and I said, okay, well, look, it happened as it came to me in adoration. Now I can just lend my will to this. But just something on the men's adoration, because um, I just wanted to put something there. Um, And I said, if I don't do this, I'll just I'll just be guilty of being of being proud and saying, oh, you're so proud of yourself, Robert. You don't want to actually share what you're getting in prayer you, because you'd be afraid what they think of you. You'd be, I'd be afraid what people think of me and you get the comments, false mystic, you know, um, uh, narcissist, blogger, Irish blogger, you know, you get all these things thrown at you. And uh, I just said, oh, do I need this? You know, I have a full time paid job. Why am I even doing this? I'm actually more. I'm actually pretty shy if people will, if people that know me, and I never really felt I could actually be a blogger. But because this message came from Our Lady in Medjugorje, I said, "Look, I'd be failing her if there's an any if there's a if there's a chance that this message is real. I'll actually be failing her, and you know what have I got to lose at the end of the day, other other than my own self image." Last year, when Our Lady asked for med asked for the the adoration in Derry, she wanted it done in the sign of the cross in Ireland: Derry, Cork, Dublin, Galway, Knock. She wanted men in adoration there, and then she wanted adoration in every single parish or or diocese in Ireland. You can group together, but she gave me one specific image, and I haven't shared this before. She wanted men to bring their sons to adoration. Um, and I could clearly see it. This is what it was. So I, when I was in adoration now in Derry the other day, I could see a lot of men had brought their sons to the adoration. You could see them lining up for confession. And that was actually the image I got. You know, that was actually the image I got. Another strange thing that happened in the adoration in Derry. You know, when I published the format, I got a lot of feedback from men that they weren't happy with the format that I was proposing for this year. They said to me, uh, you should have a bishop at this. You should get somebody else. And, you know, so I, I was reaching out to different clergy and there was one priest. I would have loved to have had him in Ireland and he wanted to come to the adoration, but his superior wouldn't let him come. And I said, look, don't worry. Uh, you know, uh, for some reason, God wants you where you are. So I wanted to, I was lo looking for a different person. And then Anto, I said to Anto, look, can you get... Um, we asked different we asked different bishops and clergy and none of them were able to do it but we asked uh, i said to anto can you get mickey hart can you see if he's he'd be interested in coming and anto knew him so i suppose you know this uh, you know poor anto he's been he's 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 been run around ireland this year he he's he so loves the faith he's such a he's such a pure soul and such a lovely man he really is and uh, and and the fact of the matter is you know mickey mickey hart led the rosary now there was one, this is the reason I'm doing this video. If people will remember at the rosary, at the end, Mickey Hart spoke. And he spoke about the memories. He spoke about his memory of sitting on his father, his father praying the rosary and him sitting with him when, as a young child and hearing the prayers. And so he's, 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 really, he's really in the prayer of the heart as a child without even knowing it. 
I don't know if people there's off there's this 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 way of healing memories, right? If if people have gone through traumas, uh, people will bring them through their memories to be able to heal them. So when they think of these memories in their past, uh, traumatic memories, they're able to 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 there is some amount of healing able to come through those memories. But what we what we are failing as Catholics many times is actually to form the memories of prayer for our children. You know, as Catholics, we need to form the memories of prayer as children, for our children. So the prayer is some, as a beautiful encounter. So when they're older, they will go back. Oh, I sat with my father. We had a statue of Our Lady. We, we used to sit around, pray the rosary. Uh, we light a candle, maybe have a treat afterwards. So it's a beautiful encounter with God. And this is what we need to do as, as parents. Um, two things that came the, during the Derry Adoration. I clearly saw Archbishop Eamon Martin uh, at the Adoration before I was getting this image. And that's why I said to Anto, reach out to Archbishop Eamon Martin if he'll come and, uh, and, and just lead. I wanted him to lead the, the rosary because I was clearly seeing him in, in St. Columbus. Now, we got a reply back that he wasn't able to come. And, you know, to be fair, many bishops' calendars, they're booked months in advance. It's simply the truth. You know, they commit and they book them, especially if you're the primate of Ireland, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be run around. You're not going to have your diary just open to, to come. And we asked him pretty late. But I was clearly said, it's very strange. I'm seeing him there at the adoration. Um, and then I was told, no, he couldn't come. But he did come. And so I said, do you know what? At least I'm not doubting myself because I got the image. And even on the morning of the adoration, I was talking to Patsy and I said, Patsy, we need a, a first aid kit for the adoration because just in case somebody, I, I, I saw somebody being sick at the adoration. I didn't know if they're going to have a heart attack or something like this. And that did happen as well. Um, and, you know, they were able to get an ambulance and help somebody. So, you know, I'm not claiming to be anything other than a sinner. And I've said this a number of times, but Our Lady is clearly asking us, She's clearly asking us to turn to her son. And um, what Archbishop Eamon Martin did in Ireland in lighting the fire, I don't know if people have actually followed what he did this year. What he did in Slane, what he did in Crowpatrick, you know, he's gone to the different, um, he's gone to the, he, he went to the shrine of St. Oliver Plunkish. You know, if you follow what he's doing, you know, the man clearly loves the faith, clearly loves the faith, clearly wants a renewal of the faith in Ireland that he took time to come and pray with us shows a man that knows priorities of the faith. I mean, I'm just, I'm just observing. I'm just observing what is happening. And so us laity have to take up this call from Mary now to renew the faith, to be men of adoration. And I'm ur urging every bishop around Ireland, don't listen to me in a sense, you know, because I, I could be wrong. I'm just saying this, but I'm, uh, you know, just... Just, just think, think of this message and 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 weigh it against the 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 our faith. You know what what bad what what wrong could come from asking men to bring their sons to adoration, confession. You know, and to be there with their sons to form these healthy memories. You know, and and that's what I'm really urging. There were so many men that came to the adoration this year that hadn't been last year. And uh, we will take on board the feedback that I was getting this year. And so when we're doing it next year, we'll we'll have it better prepared. Um, but, you know, I really felt Dan needed to be there this year because when I was in Medjugorje last year, if people will remember, when I left Medjugorje, they, they handed our group a, a, a USB stick with a lot, all the videos from the week, right? And on the USB stick, and you can go back to my channel, was... Saint, uh, Sister Breach McKenna, who had been there with Dana, and it was from that encounter in Medjugorje that they that that they got light the fire and they they, they did slain etc etc etc, and um, so what are the chances? What 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 could go wrong? And uh, Our Lady keeps saying to me, she keeps saying to me, teach them how to pray, form them in prayer, do prayer of the heart. Um, and, you know, the story of Jeanne coming to, Be to Derry is an incredible story. I, I mean, what, if someday we'll do a video on it. So just so you know, it's, it's, it's an incredible story because how this came to, do, to pass. And, you know, we, we want to bring the School of Mary to, to Ireland. We want to teach people. I want him to teach people. I'm not a man. I don't have the whole theology of prayer that he has. 
and 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 the te and the theology and techniques of prayer because so many people are looking for zen and meditation and mindfulness and blah 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 and there's a whole wealth of 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 prayer that in our in our catholic christian tradition a whole wealth you could spend a lifetime de de going deeper and deeper into the wealth of catholic prayer so my 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 calling is again to ireland and i'm going to say it clearly um, our bishops obviously listen to us. They obviously want to help us. It spoke volumes of the character of Archbishop Eamon Martin to actually come to the adoration. The man clearly loves the faith. He clearly wants to renew the church. He's the successor of St. Patrick. We need to work with the authority of the church, with our bishops, to renew the faith in Ireland. It is an early... In, in prayer, it's coming to me. Our Lord said to me, don't divide my church. Um, you know, we're going to have disagreements and fallings out and they won't agree with us and we won't agree with them. And that's OK. You know, the discussion and the disagreements are OK, but we don't divide the church because we disagree. We, we work together. We pray together. And maybe God is using that to form our obedience because we, we all went off and did our own thing in disobedience. You know, we just end up you know, in a crazy situation. You know, the, we need to work as one church in Ireland to renew the faith, the, the laity. And, you know, Ireland is a special situation, you know, even to the traditional side. It's not like the Irish bishops are, are have, have, you know, come down hard in that, in that, like in other places. You know, we are one church and we should use all of the tradition of the church, all of the, our structures to renew the faith and um to strengthen the church and to strengthen the church in prayer so that is that 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 really is the the, the message that our lady gave me in in Medjugorje. And i'm going to say it clearly because if i don't then i'll be guilty of being prideful of not wanting to put my name my face with that message and i'm just going to give it to her and then the church can discern organize once a month adoration as men and bring your boys to adoration and confession what even in one diocese, every diocese. And though, and I said it to people, I've given this message to other people. I said, if I die, make sure this happens after I die. But I'm just going to say it now because it, it it's what she wanted. She wanted, you know, and you might say, well, why men? Why this? Why that? You know, because, you know, the spirit, the, the spirit of the Antichrist in Ireland, the Spirit, the spirit that draws us is, is, is consuming 500 men a year. And the men in Derry know this. How many incidences of suicide, male suicide, have you in Derry? That, that, that hurts so many families. You know, if we, if we brought men to see the beauty of prayer, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying as a man, it's, you know, and women are great for standing up and, uh, and being women of faith. They, they really are. You see, you see some great women in Ireland, Sister Breach McKenna, Dana and Elaine Purdy and or, um, Martina Purdy, and Elaine Kelly and, and so many other women. They're, they're great women of faith, but men need to stand up and step in and, and to be leaders in the faith for their kids, the domestic church. So, you know, that's that's what Our Lady wants. And I can't emphasize it enough. Do it once a month. Organize a Saturday, maybe the third Saturday of every month or, or something like that, or around the first Saturday, the men's rosary or something like that. Organize adoration, reach out to a priest, um, organize adoration, make sure there's confession available and form that memory of prayer for your for your kids, for your for your sons. Form that memory of prayer. You know, Mickey spoke about it in the Derry Adoration. And uh, and that's clearly what Our Lady wants. And again, as I said, next year we're looking to do a small group for the School of Mary in Knock. We'll try and thrash it out. Nothing's approved or organized yet. We're just trying to see what interest there. If you're interested in doing the, the foundations of the spiritual life, just, uh, you know, knowing more about the prayer of the heart, you know, and, um, you know you'd be formed as if you were a religious, really. You, you'd get the formation that a, a religious novice would get, a Carmelite novice would get. If you're interested in getting that type of formation in prayer, uh, let me know. Reach out to me because we're going to organise a a uh, that to bring Jeanne to Ireland, um, maybe eight times next year to to actually help us in 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 
being better men or women of prayer to be open to anybody anybody is interested um it's a beautiful school and um you know that's just my my message to you i know i rambled on a bit but i'm, I'm just going to say it as it is you know um we need to work with our bishops we need to be united as a church and we need to focus on on really being i'm really i'm really being going out and 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 being and and pushing the gospel into action you know really important anyway god bless you take care bye bye oh